Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's been a long time since I make a video. So today, um, I will be making a video to help um, someone to automate the extraction of string or number from text in Excel and save in Excel. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So I have a question here on the Power Automate desktop public group on Facebook. So if you have any questions, you can also uh, post it on, in this group. Uh, Gustarina Norfadila asked me, um, she wants to take the number of each variable value. How to do it? Can anyone help me? So this is uh, a list of Excel data. Right in the column one, uh, there's some blank fields and also followed by KO165623, uh, KO probably an invoice number. So she just won the six uh, last uh, digit and um, and how to extract this six right <clears throat> into uh, Excel. So I have prepared um, two, uh, one uh, Excel spreadsheet. <clears throat> To be exactly like uh, her question, so it's like two characters and then uh, six digits. Right. I've saved it in <clears throat> extract number dot xlxx, and then uh, the output of the Power Automate Desktop Flow that I will show later. We uh, extract the last six uh, digits of the uh, invoice number. So let me start. So the first step is you have to launch Excel. Launch Excel and open the following document. Um, so document path is the extract number dot xlsx. Make instance visible. Yes. Open asterisk only. No. Variables produce is Excel instance. Then you read from Excel worksheet, Excel instance and Excel instance. Retrieve all available values from worksheet. Get cell contents as text enabled. Variables produce is Excel data. Then you use retrieve data table column into this data table is excel data color new or index is zero variables produce is column as list then you set variable row variable row value one then for each current item in column as list activate cell in excel worksheet Excel instance is Excel instance. Activate absolutely specified cell. Column one row will be the variable row. So it will start um, column one and uh, row, which is row equal value one. Then you use if current item isn't empty, then get subtext original text is current item character position is uh, two so if you can read here the position of the first character re to retrieve this is a zero base index counting from zero counting from zero for the first character so if you can see here the invoice so it's B O three two one two three four. So uh, B is uh, zero 
right? Zero index. So zero, one, two. So you will start at uh, extracting from uh, three, right? So character position is two. Number of characters, you can see the number of characters, the last six digits. So you put six here. So variables produce is subtext. Then you activate cell in Excel worksheet. Excel instance, Excel instance. Activate relatively specified cell. Direction right, offset from active cell one. So it will extract the six digit and then go to the right, um, right cell. And then right to Excel worksheet, Excel instance, Excel instance, then uh, subtext. Then uh, on currently active cell. So you want to go to the next row. So you increase variable row increase by one and then if current item is empty right this is the else function um, you increase variable by row by one to skip the empty cell right then uh, n is over here and then another n then you save excel so excel instance is excel instance Save document as document format Excel worksheet and then uh, you put your uh, new name. Uh, you can name anything. So for my case, I put output.xlsx. So if I run it, so you opened up the extract number, then you will go to invoice number and go to the right hand side and put the last uh, six six characters and then it will save as output.xlxx um, yeah i hope this video has helped you if you if this video has helped you please give the uh, video a like and uh, you can uh, buy me a coffee using the paypal link uh, in the description. Thank you so much for your support. Bye-bye.